It is the start of summer driving season, and as temperatures rise, so do gas prices. Since mid-April, they've been rising a penny a day to a nationwide average tonight of 274 a gallon. That is still nearly a dollar less than last Memorial Day. Prices are highest on the West Coast, and Carter Evans is there. Tourists traveling through Los Angeles this holiday weekend were greeted by gas prices topping $4 a gallon, at least a dollar more than the rest of the nation. The lowest I paid was $2.24 in Missouri. John Pope watched prices shoot up as he drove his Winnebago cross country to California. After Arizona, it went up 50 cents, and we got here, it went up about $1.50. Nationwide, regular gas prices are more than 20 cents a gallon higher than a month ago, but the increase is double that in California, which has the most expensive gas in the country, higher than Alaska and Hawaii. And the last time gasoline prices were over four bucks in, uh, in California, crude oil prices were over $100 a barrel. Today, crude oil prices are about $60 a barrel. Jamie so, Cord, president of the nonprofit Consumer Watchdog, is also skeptical about poorly timed refinery shutdowns, which decrease supply. When the refiners themselves are controlling the maintenance schedule and they're making huge profits when the refineries go down, questions have to be asked. A lot of it is definitely going into profit, but that doesn't mean the firms are actually doing anything wrong. Severin Borenstein with UC Berkeley's Energy Institute says California requires a special summer blend of gas that few refineries produce. An explosion at one and labor strikes at two others have also slowed production. If you happen to be selling a product at a time that there's a real scarcity of it and the price goes up, you make a lot of money. But those high profits may not last. Many analysts expect gas prices are just about to peak and then will decline throughout the summer, especially here in California, Jeff, as refineries come back online. Carter Evans, thank you very much.